It's Watermelon Day, and we have Chef Richard Pinnell whipping up deli a delicious dish right here in the Sack & Co. IKEA kitchen. Welcome back, Chef Pinnell. How you doing, sir? Good I'm time. doing very well. <laughs> so what, I know watermelon is associated with summer. Why is watermelon such an amazing summer snack? For me, it's one of my favorite. It's actually a berry. It's the world's largest berry. Is it really? Yeah, it it's is. Not a, it's not a melon. And it's, they call it a melon because of the size and the texture, but it's actually a berry. That is big news right yeah. there. Okay, that's but I love it because it, it, it has the substance, it has the texture of that you can chew almost like a, a, a fruit steak. Mm -hmm. And then it has all the water and the nutrients and everything that's in there and compacted in that, in that berry. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing something different than just yeah, cubing yeah. up the watermelon. Yeah. What, do you, what have you brought here today? What are you making? You know, you know I, I have to break tradition. I can't do things simple. So no. what we have is a, a red and a yellow flesh watermelon. And um, what I've done so far is I have a um, watermelon and glazed um, thighs. Okay, chicken so thighs, yeah. Chicken thighs okay. here, and uh, it's, uh, it has peppers and, of course, the watermelon infused and everything, some smoke and th things like that. So just uh, uh, fry those a little bit, finish them off in the oven, make your um, sauce on there and your glaze, and just kind of toss that in there really nice. Oh, and it looks good. It just soaks up in there. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, and you have uh, one ready? Yes, I go? do. Use this, and then I have this salmon And this is also. ready to go? Yes. I, I say that because, you know, uh, when we're here in the Sack and Go kitchen, any no cooking segment will be complete without right. our segment, Sam Eats. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Hey. How we doing? How we doing? <laughs> I, I brought forks this time. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. I brought forks this all right. time. This all looks amazing. All right. Great, 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 great. So Sam yellow Platts. watermelon. Wh uh, which one is he getting? Is he getting? I would, I would suggest him try the uh, the chicken here. Okay, here okay. we go. And um, we're so this is a watermelon over. glaze on there? This what is a watermelon okay, glaze. Okay, all right. So you have to tell me if you're going to taste the watermelon. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll be looking for it. So I'm not sure what to expect with the yellow, the yellow watermelon, though. It pretty much tastes the same. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little light uh, in uh, flavor, but uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. All right, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what a foodie has to say. Sam is, of course, a professional foodie. So you're trying to get out of tasting my No, food. I'm going to taste it, but <laughs> he had the cool intro and everything. Mm -hmm. what, what are you experiencing <laughs> other than pure joy? No, it's blissful. Blissful? It's, uh, yeah. Is there a caramelized something going on there? You, it, it's like you've cooked the sugars in the watermelon there. Yes, yes. I basically hand squeeze the watermelon juice mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. uh, there's oh, the some of the ingredients there here. Yeah, there's a little lime juice, some dried onions, mm -hmm. some peppers, garlic, uh, smoke. Um, I can smell like it too. Yeah. Like the smell is is amazing. Right. That smoke that's in there. Exactly. But yeah, the watermelon is actually a little more subdued because of the way it's been cooked. Right. I've never had cooked watermelon, but as it sits on my tongue a little bit more, there's that obvious watermelon right, taste there. Exactly. I love exactly. it. It's delicious. Very nice feedback. Nice mm -hmm. review. Yeah. Um, so, Chef Pinnell, we kind of jump right into the chicken yes. thighs here, but uh, how did you cook the salmon over here? Well, the salmon, what I did was I did a little butter in the skillet with a little olive oil, and then again, some hand squeezed watermelon mm -hmm. uh, juice. And then I just added a little bit more of the seasonings that, again that you have here at that get that nice caramelized, and then I just basically did a watermelon, a red and yellow watermelon salsa okay. um, oh, to go yeah. along with that. So you get into that, that nice salmon flavor with that nice uh, sort of sweetness of the watermelon. That, that combination is really, it's good. I'm gonna try that salsa well, too. Well, I'm gonna try right? some of that. Can I try some of this? Of I'm course, a big of salmon course. fan, and I have then a while I'm trying you. this because I can't talk with my mouth full, or I shouldn't, Woo! I should say. Uh, tell us about the Banana Festival. A lot mm -hmm. of people know you yes. uh, as associated with that. Yes, coming up actually next uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday, August uh, 12th and 13th, uh, William Land Park, uh, 10 to 7 on Saturday and 10 to 5, mm. which is going to be a funk festival, actually. That's right, the funk Yeah, music. the funk music. We got the Brides of Funkenstein going to be there. We, nice. got, we got some funky food. We got some uh -huh. funky bananas, the core, the whole nine yards, you know, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. So it's at William Land Park. Yes. Uh, is there a website people can go to to yes. find out more? Yes, uh, www.sacramentobananafest.com. Okay. I'll go on there. You can get your tickets. You can get everything, all the information, the whole nine yards. Now, no meal would be complete without dessert. And you have a dessert that you prepared. Yes. Tell us I did. I, this was an experiment. Okay. So <laughs> you gentlemen definitely going to have to try this one. So... This is my watermelon upside down cake. Oh, yeah, that looks, buddy. Instead yes. of pineapple, you just use watermelon. Exactly, you use watermelon. That's okay. beautiful. And the, um, the texture is different. 
It was the first time I did mm -hmm. it, but it tastes really, really well. You have to score the watermelon because watermelon keeps its, fir its firmness and its shape. So I did a little score on it so you okay. can get in there and taste it. And um, uh, it's, 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 it's a surprise. So I'm going to bring this over I here. I love your experiments. You're like a mad yeah. scientist, but it's always something I am. Perfect. I am. I have to do something different. Mm -hmm. I like how What's Sam just jumped here? into it. Oh, the sauce is a... Um, Oh, man, a white chocolate rum cream sauce. Oh, my oh, oh! <laughs> guys. Oh, my gosh. This all right. is incredible. Don't yeah. eat all that before I can finish the yeah, salmon because yeah. I have to have some of that. Uh, okay. Real quick, uh, Chef Pinnell, so where can people get more information about you? Uh, for me, you can reach me, at, of course, on Facebook, social media. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a web page that's kind of long. It's uh, Richard Pinnell at Wix.Chef Pinnell. And uh, also, I'm currently at the um, Cherry Island Golf Course as the uh, head chef out there and nice. doing some creative things out there as well. And come on and play some golf. All right, Chef Pinnell, thanks. In one word, describe it in one word, Sam. In one word, uh, <laughs> watermelon fantastic. <laughs>